This is not how we're going to study in 2021. What's going on guys? Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you my super productive study routine that helped me get a 4.0 in college thus far, as well as get almost hundreds on my final exams. Now, one of the most important parts of my study routine is I try to study in the same place every single time. I try to make sure my study area is quiet with very little distractions away from friends and family because I really want to focus on whatever I'm studying. I also decide to study in my YouTube studio because the problems I face on my exams all require creativity because as a computer science major, you are expected to design solutions to whatever problem you're facing and to be honest no matter what major you are your creativity is required to be able to find answers to whatever problem you're facing on an exam i feel like the creativity within the studio will pour into my brain and carry over to my studying regime and then ultimately carry over to the exam and the best part about studying in the same area is you have all the materials you need gathered in the same place so you never have to leave your study room just to get a calculator just to get more pencils this all has a grand purpose and that purpose is to make sure you maintain and achieve your flow state your flow state which is the state at which your concentration is at its max and your tension is at its highest is a state that you want to be in when you study because in this state you are basically what they call in the zone or if you're an anime watcher you are nine tails sage of six pass mode right now and in this stage, your brain is basically a sponge that gathers up all the information you come across and retains it so you can recall it later on. Now for the first 90 study minutes, I study notes and conceptual material I compiled for the upcoming exam. Now what do I mean by study minutes? What I like to do is study for 45 minutes at a time and then take a short five to 10 minute break. And I keep doing this until I have studied 90 minutes of pure content. So the five, 10 minute break does not count as part of the 90 minutes. What I like to do in my breaks is I go on TikTok or I don't know if you guys heard about this one YouTuber named RB Business. I heard he's a pretty smart guy. You guys should go watch him. Now this technique is what many call Pomodoro, but the only difference is that Pomodoro follows a 25 five minute split where you study for 25 minutes at a time, then you take a five minute break. And now why is a break so important? I know some people don't even take breaks, they just binge study. According to this article right here, your brain sometimes gets cognitively bored. And you'd want to avoid cognitive boredom because at that point, your attention just isn't as high and you're basically reading and not retaining anything. Now my study session overall is two to three hours of study. The first 90 minutes, I review fundamentals and notes like I said earlier. And the latter 90 minutes, I move to homework or past exam problems. For this latter part of the routine, I really limit my breaks to three to five minutes and I only take one break. So some may call it bench studying, but the reason I do this is because I find that the application part of your studying routine where you're actually doing uh, except past exam problems and past homework problems is really the most essential part of your routine because this is where you're prepping yourself up for your upcoming exam and I want to maintain the flow state as much as possible so I try not to take many breaks if at all but I find that even then I still get cognitively bored so I may take like a three to five minute break hit some quick push-ups and then get back to it I usually start with three to four homework problems and then the rest 80% of the time spent studying is just exam problems because I'd rather spend time on exam problems since what I'm studying for is most likely an upcoming exam so it's better to do exam problems versus homework problems of course homework problems help a lot but past exam problems are just super representative of what I am about to face so you may all be wondering how many times I conduct study sessions in a day I try to conduct two study sessions a day when I have an upcoming exam according to this article right here your brain is in acquisition mode from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. and 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. and science has also shown that studying at night and then sleeping shortly after boosts memory retention to the max so I personally do conduct two study sessions when I have an upcoming exam I like to study from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. in the day which is within the brain acquisition window and then at night I like to study from 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. now I know the brain acquisition window ends at 10 p.m. but as a college student starting studying at 8 p.m. which is kind of my dinner time is just not feasible and it's not like I sleep at 11 p.m. either I tend to sleep at 12 a.m. sometimes 12 30 a.m. so finishing studying at 11 p.m. and sleeping within 30 minutes to an hour after that I find that that makes more sense versus finishing studying at 10 p.m. to sleeping two hours later. Now I end each study session by writing three things I learned or reviewed within that study session. While there is no science to back up that this is a crucial necessity of any routine, I feel that after doing this, I look back at my session and I think, wow, I was extremely productive, and then I feel good, and of course, when you feel good, you do good.